gone with 11 of the starters from last year's All-Ireland final. Nicky Devereaux starts a championship match for the first time with Darren Daly included on his left, having recovered from a hamstring injury he suffered against Kerry in the league camp. Their team after their opening victory over Wicklow. Colin Begley missed that game after a disagreement with team management. He's restored to the half-back line. He brings much-needed physicality to that line. Ross Munnerly and Donny Kingston were their scoring stars in Ockram and they will need to do it all over again if they in the Leinster Senior Football quarter-final Dublin won the toss they will defend Hill 16 for the first half here there's the referee and I think the main thing he's trying to do is close down Kingston and Munley Wexford await the winners here's John O'Loughlin plays his club football with St Bridget's in Dublin now Colin Begley of Parnells on the north side of Dublin back to John O'Loughlin now Billy Sheehan Johnny Cooper has lost him Keen O'Sullivan is there with him. Billy Sheehan looking for the first point of the game. Instead, it's the Fiends in Croke Park this year. James McCarthy and opens up in front of him. No sweeper, no, nobody comes towards him. Darren Daly now. Daly goes back to Paddy Andrews. Pinging the ball around and Alan Brogan fires that over. There is the first point of this Leinster quarter final and opening the scoring. Yeah, and notice the way Dublin get it to their scorer. They got it, had that bit of patience, got to Alan Brogan, got the goals in sight and just look at the Darren McCauley with John O'Loughlin. That's going to be a bruising battle between both of those. Donny Kingston. Six points he got against Wicklow. And eventually, John O'Loughlin. Donny Kingston. That's Rory O'Carroll in front of him. Kingston forced wide now. Ross Munnelly. Munnelly's got a bit of space. And Munnelly fires that over. And Leash have their first point. And that was nicely done from Ross Munnelly. Yeah, beautifully done, all right. Uh, again, the two guys that are important to their scoring as, uh, end of things. Kingston and Munley combined. Munley finished. Kingston has got it away from Rory O'Carroll. Ross Munley is there helping. Got one already. Looking for a second. Looking for the lead for Leash. And he's got it. Settling into this. Leading by two points to one inside three minutes. Both for Munley. Yeah, but great use of the foot pass in both of those scores. 47% of the scores I get. Gotcha. Now Darren Strong looking for 3-1 for Leash and getting it too. Another nice score. Darren Strong knows where those posts have gone past Peter O'Leary. Brilliant from Paddy Andrews. Does he need help? He certainly does. Brogan's in after it. And Brogan those kickouts. But he's rather good from this kind of distance. Didn't even see it going over the bar. Billy Sheehan gets it back in motion to Colin Begley. Now Stephen Attride, the centre-back. Donny Kingston has kept that alive. Support from David Conway scuttled along the ground and Conway chips that over. This is really good stuff from Leash. Four. Delightful football from Leash. All great foot passing. You, you know, cross-field passes accurately given. Good vision with the inside players. And at the end of that... They win the Dublin kick-out. Stephen Attride. Donny Kingston has been crucial so far. Taking Peter O'Leary out of the game. That's in towards Bernard Brogan. David Conway into that space. Ross Munnelly is the furthest forward. Conway backs himself. Trying to put him off. Sheehan. David Conway. Similar sort of position. And the result is the same. Begley. O'Gara in low to Bernard Brogan got out in front of McMahon oh Nogara massive physical strength but the ref now it's Paul Flynn haven't seen a lot of him on it the three time all star and that is going wide again open road in front of him goes with the foot pass to Donny Kingston Rory O'Carroll yards away from Kingston and Kingston drawing that in and that is beautiful that's a glorious score from Donny Kingston no it's wide yeah right into the chest of Owen O'Gara and now it opens up for Michael Darren McCauley Brody got himself yeah I just think he hesitated there for a moment he was go great um, uh, I think assist it was from O'Gara originally I thought Michael Darren was going to let it off to Brogan Brogan at that point of view Meany and O'Loughlin need to get the defensive play that much uh, uh, tighter they do go wrong the odd time and forward with it actually hits it a little bit high but the foot block the block you know just Donny Kingston and Ross Munnerly inside the Dublin 65 metre line nobody else joining Munnerly is trying to make himself available Donny Kingston going through for Leash Munnerly is free goal chance no it was stopped by Johnny 
but here comes Nicky Devereaux from centre back, Keen O'Sullivan. Nicky Devereaux again, challenge from Podrick McMahon, now it's Paul Flynn, and Flynn missed one earlier on, hasn't missed from there, just over 20 metres out, it's Dublin and does this. That's a wonderful counter-attack from Dublin. Great anticipation at the other side of the field by Cooper. Good counter-attack and good finish by Finn. But at the other side of the field, it just what? Style at times is criticised under the previous management. Here's Conor Meredith. Ross Munnerly. Some point from there, and Munnerly has got some point. That's a lovely score from Ross Munnerly. Their scorer-in-chief, the captain in 2014, 5-3. I just watch him, he's such a reliable left foot, even from an acute angle like that, just directs... Mark Catron O'Gara with one hand, they're in, Andrews, off, off the underside of the bar, or did it go in? No. He's given to the free, good referee in. Hands up back, hands up back. Bernard Brogan. Over it goes. There. Michael Darren McCauley there with... Darren Strong, oh, very nice from Darren Strong, that's his second. In. But you've got to applaud the quality of kick passing, the accuracy of the shooting from distance and the confidence in the players on both sides to have a goal. Keen O'Sullivan with a little bit of space coming towards him is Conor Meredith. Meredith out to Dermot Connolly, Paddy Andrews wants to get free, Connolly, post again, free out. They're saying they shouldn't even turn up here today, here's Keen O'Sullivan. And O'Sullivan has slotted that over. Fine point from the Dublin. Dublin were with the bookies to win this match. Yeah, Keen O'Sullivan that time just had the confidence to go. Leash come up with the ball. Colin Begley, John O'Loughlin. It's a little strong for Ross Munnerly and Stephen Cluxton. And off the Cluxton kick out, Leash have it back. Billy Sheen is ahead of Ross Munnerly. Here's James Finn. Finn. Shoot on sight, and it's a policy that is working and working extremely well for the Uns to five. All from play, all seven of these points. Yeah, and why bother taking the player on when you have that type? So did that try. Here's Alan Brogan. He got Dublin's first point in the game. Brogan spins back around. Owen O'Gara is in after. The but so far, it's been a very good contest. You know, we were led to believe that Dublin were going to walk away with this. One starter in the National League, and he's played well. Here's Billy Sheehan. There's encouragement from Hill 16 for the Dublin team. Now, Donny Kingston, Pedro Leary again, has gone out of the game. Here's Andrews. Goes past Meredith. Andrews with the point with the fist. Right, the tackles very well. Was going to let the ball, I thought, for a moment across the field, but um, despite the challenge that time from Merritt, they just had the composure to, to tend to him. Colin Begley of Leash, Donny Kingston. Begley, that came off the outside of his left boot. Ross Munnerly won't. Loves to get forward whenever he can. Billy Sheehan. David Conway made a move towards him. They go back to Stephen Attright. Donny Kingston inside the 45. Kingston. That's a super score. That is a wonderful, wonderful point from Donny Kingston. Outside of his right boot. It worked that time. And Leash leading by eight points to six. Well, if there wasn't a net behind the goals that time, it would have ended up on the railway line. It was going so handsomely. That's a beautiful strike from Kingston. Ian Munley. Every play. Donny Kingston has been anything but hesitant. Ross Munnerly is trying to make a move towards him. O'Carroll and Cooper behind him. And that's in towards Ross Munnerly. And he got out in front of Philly McMahon. But McMahon, Billy Sheehan, Paddy Andrews in tow. Now out to Colin Begley, trying to draw that in. And O'Loughlin, the give and go. And here he goes, John O'Loughlin. Ross Munnerly. Johnny Cooper not tight enough on him, and that's hanging and hanging. Will it drop over? No, it won't. Safe hand. Ahead of Darren Strong, and that was a Darren Strong again. Darren Daly has been injured. Darren Strong looking for a hat-trick of points, but unable to. Getting treatment. Here's Philly McMahon to Owen O'Gara. He's got it in front this time. Here's Paddy Andrews. Andrews. No. Great pressure put on. Kevin McManaman, Ono Gara is 
screaming for it. It opens up for McMenamin. Could have taken his point a couple of seconds ago. Paul Flynn will try and has taken his. Paul Flynn. I think actually incorporated into that little cameo there, you had a kind of a view for Dublin around at the moment. There's that little bit of hesitancy about McMenamin going through that time. I thought he had two opportunities to take a spot. Number 21 All-Ireland winning captain is on in his place. Kevin Meaning for Ross Munnerly. Johnny Cooper there in front of it. Munnerly spots O'Loughlin in a good position. Three dubs around him, nowhere to go. He needs some support and he just to go. Andrews and McCaffrey available too. Owen O'Gara got that. Now the feeling, if Leash were to do this, was that they'd all have to play out of their skins. They've been pretty close to that. John O'Loughlin, a long way still to go. Munnerly wrapping round, but it's a free. The ball has been kicked over the bar by Ross Munnerly. It's actually a free to Dublin. James McCarthy, Owen O'Gara. Alan Brogan is there with him. Leash with numbers back and O'Gara invited to take it on himself and he certainly has recovered from his bad wide of about for the second time and Owen O'Gara with his first point to this Leinster quarter-final. Yeah and I love that trademark handoff that he has when he's coming at, at, at defenders he can make room for himself so well with that and they just survived in Division 2 of the league beat down on the last day to stay up it was uh, an indifferent league campaign Niall Donagher has been troubled by injury issues in the past and he's moved to continue when there was no advantage accruing correctly give the free the breeze is with him and he's got that one wrong Donny Kingston tries and uh, almost succeeded in keeping it alive Cooper and O'Carroll is there and they got caught Ross Munnelly trying it on his right boot it works just as well as the left for Ross Munnelly and that's his fourth point of the game 9-8 for Leash yeah fabulous perseverance that time by Kingston I thought the ball had gone wide but he stayed with it quick transfer and a marvellous score instinctive score from Munnelly and their first Donny Kingston and O'Loughlin, a little bit of a gap for him. John O'Loughlin goes past McCarthy, Michael Darren McCauley there with him, it's a free just outside. It would be his great strength, great perseverance that time of going through. Draws. Donny Kingston. <laughs> Tops that over to give them a two point lead. Ross Munnerly. Mario Carroll. Dermot Connolly hit the post earlier on. We're kicking a ball and that gets the players. Paddy Andrews, that's a tricky one for Brody. And Brody can't hold on to it. Brogan and Brody with another fine save. Brogan will feel he should have scored. Alan Brogan now it's Owen O'Gara. Great stop from Brody. <laughs> Played to young Brody, great presence of mind for a young fella. Just watch the first instance here when the ball comes in. Um, you know, he got down on the foot so well that time. Still has more to do. Ball is fed out into the middle. Look, Garrett coming through. Oh, great deflection out for a 45. That's a great exhibition of goalkeeping. Four great saves. All the time to practice as many skills as he possibly can. And at that young age, he's mastered many of them already. <laughs> well, it's fabulous to see. He's not happy with that. He turned away from Leash, lead the Leinster and All Ireland champions. He's been superb, Graham Brody. But at the break, it's Leash leading Dublin by 10 points to 8. Worth that lead at half time. How much do you think they have benefited from the fact that they have played this big championship match down in Ockram, always a tough place? Certainly is. I suppose uh, Leash have benefited from it. But they're disciplined and organised. Conor Meredith has come back to play as a sweeper. And as we were pointing out in advance, uh, Ross Munley and uh, uh, the young Kingston have mm. been the fulcrum of the attack and they have been very accurate and kicked some brilliant points from play and I suppose they've restricted Dublin to about six goal chances which is unusual. Dublin <laughs> normally create 10 or 12 goal chances in a game but 
there's a certain inevitability about it for me anyway. Dublin are going to get one or two of these goal chances. They are a second half team, but I think special mention should go to Graham Brody, the leash goalkeeper. Not only has he been brilliant in saving, but he has also matched Cluxton in kicking out the ball to advantage for his own team, which is really saying something. So a very good performance by Leash in the first half, but Dublin are a second half team. One thing that I've loved is no tempo, no intensity as a player. In the second half they brought tempo and intensity and they blew cock out of it. But if they played the second Half today, like, they, like they've done yeah. the first half, they're vulnerable. There's no doubt about it, and that's what we've always said. I mean, if you were playing against an, an arm, or if you were playing against a, a Donegal, a Tyrone, a Cork, a Kerry, a Mayo, even today, playing like that, oh, the secret is for Leash not to score there. Breeze is with Dublin, the gentle breeze, that's all that it is. Kane O'Sullivan gets a free already, dragged back by Kevin Meaney. And O'Sullivan fires that in towards Kevin McMenamin, one of two subs used by Jim Gavin in the first half. Jack McCaffrey came on as well. Here's McCurst, he's trying to get away from Peter O'Leary. McMenamin, no, it's a foul on the ball by Kevin McMenamin. A little bit of hesitancy again. We saw it several times during the first half, and this is how he gave away the free. Yeah, good tackling back, I think it was by Paul Kirk Mahan, and uh, just, <laughs> we saw it earlier actually, as, we, as you said, Dara, and... Uh, Jeremy Connolly is available ahead of him, Owen O'Gara. And O'Gara, it's Conor Meredith, they all queue up, and they're straight at centre-half back, who plays a goal, and plays a goal very well. Colin Begley. Four ball. Decoy as Andrews angles it over towards Owen O'Gara. He's a bit isolated. But he'd be disappointed by that. For Leash. For James McCarthy. John O'Loughlin there. Now Michael Darren McCauley. Bit of a gap for him. Let's it out to Kevin McManaman. Swings the left boot onto that lovely score. That's the sort of football they show. Stages of the lead. 5.29 they got in the last two games of that campaign. Yeah, but you can see the person who's trying to set the tempo is the likes of uh, midfield. Incredible pace to catch up with him. Not such a front of Paldrick McMahon. McMenamin. The eye is in. Sir, no hesitant. Kim as a result once more of the leash attack floundering. The Raider has started to blink at the beginning of the second half. The Dublin defence is getting that little bit tighter. Here they come again, Paul Flynn. Options popping up everywhere. Flynn backs himself and scores. Lee. Yeah, what was very noticeable from that was around the middle of the field when the kickout came, there was no leash player around the breaking ball, and as a consequence. High for John O'Loughlin. Now it's Evan O'Carroll, the blood sub, and O'Carroll snatched at that one and has put it they've cut them open again. Here's McCaffrey. Connor Meredith comes across to it. No, indeed, it is Philly McMahon. And McMahon, though, wasn't able to. And I don't, I don't think so. I don't think so from what I can see there in the room. And it lets it move to Kevin McMenamin. Taddy Andrews, great skill to hang on to that. Here's Owen O'Gara, got it at the second time of asking. Now it's Jack McCaffrey. Remember his goal against Cork. McCaffrey's in, and it was stunned. He's floundering, comes forward, does the right thing, has a go, uh, go at goals. What a great block it must be. Just watch it, cornerback coming across, and just manages to get the ball away. Come in for him. Stephen Cluxton is one from three from the 45s. He can make that two from four. Very different field for the game. McManaman having a huge bearing on this. Oh, it's that type and um, just shepherds the ball, allows the ball to go wide. He's in close to goal as well, but Dublin have to defend now. Here's Darren Strong, two points he got in the first half. Niall Donaher, they haven't scored so far in the second. Well, they have now. It's taken them almost 10 minutes between them. Yeah, fair play to John O'Loughlin, started that move, Donaher good running off the shoulder, takes a good score, Niche leaded that actually. Oh, made the space and they all just move away from him, the Leash defenders, a big gap opens up, James McCarthy will take his point. Nice for James McCarthy, 13-11. Oh, it's a beautiful bit of slaloming through the Leash defence that time, no, no, nobody scolds to him though, amazingly, and he just... Colin Begley fancies a go. Nope. Dermot Connolly is in closest to the leash goal, moving up towards Andrews, and again he's able to make space for himself. And now 
great catch from McMahon. Here's Dear McConnelly can't stand up. He can finish them. He got back to his feet. And Dear McConnelly forward to starters for Dublin have now scored and McMahon. Nice finish. What is Philly McMahon doing up there? A lovely pass back out to Connolly, who has the composure to lay aside the slip that he made and slip it into the corner. Very, very. They're just not tight enough on him, didn't pick him up. Here's Kevin McManaman. That's Podrick McMahon in front of him, queuing up for this. Paddy Andrews. Andrews sweeps that one towards the post, but. Stephen Atright. etc and being used to playing at a faster pace is now beginning beautiful just slotted it into the cor corner and very little Graham Brody could do about that despite, despite you know he had good of Connolly. Ross Mullally is a good distance out. Lovely three from Ross Mullally. He's led the way. Been tossed for the ball, and that time he's pushed to the ground. I think uh, Michael Finn, in fact, and Darren McCauley's a bit upset about the decision going again. That's the 13 metre line. Just in front of him. Four behind. Kingston swinging that in. Wide though. Right back at Dublin with Donny Kingston. Jack McCaffrey goes to try and challenge him. Kingston has lost the ball. We've seen Philly McMahon in a very advanced position. That's given away to him again. John O'Loughlin. Some space in front of it. Paul Flynn is backing off, inviting John O'Loughlin to shoot. He's taken the opportunity. A goal between them. Yeah, loads of space. Is there a goal in leash? Tony Kingston, that was ambitious, Nicky Devereaux went in again, quick hands to Keen O'Sullivan. Can go anywhere with this, Cormac Costello has joined the attack again, and he's dropped that one short. Surprising miss, he lost it now, Kevin McMenamin and Michael Darren McCauley! That should be it, even with fifth while it's James Finn, Ross Munnerly, they trail by six. John O'Loughlin, a great feat from John O'Loughlin, deserves a score at the end of that, but has Darren Connolly was pushed in the back by Paul Begley. Ball back in live, Darren Strong, Conor Meredith, Peter O'Leary, Colin Begley, spotted Johnny Cooper, three for Leash. Over it goes, five points behind. Oh. Through to James Finn. Oh, Darren Strong over elaborated. Jack McCaffrey spinning away from the challenges. Here's Paddy Andrews, Brian Cullen, Dear McConnelly is free, screaming for it. Cullen wants it himself, and over it goes. Good advantageous position from a leash point of view. Dubs just got the ball forward, and Cullen, they have so much to offer, and that's the great advantage to have over other teams. From Philly McMahon, and the referee gives a free in, and he's moving it even. The goal, the goal is what they're after, and it's what they need. Donny Kingston. Oh, OK. Anticlimax. I thought myself we would have gone for the goal. Dear McConnelly, speaking of talented players and talented young men. It's just so easy when you can do that. Well, that's the essence of some bits of sniff and puts it between the posts. That's delightful forward play. And he was Donny Kingston. Six at the margin again. That's Nicky Devereaux. Here's Ross Munnelly. Bobby Kyo. John O'Loughlin. Michael Darrell McCauley there. Ross Munnelly. Shoot on site policy is back. And that is a lovely point from Ross Munnelly. He rarely scores an ordinary one. Actually, of O'Loughlin, Kingston and Munnelly are so important to Leash. And that time they were all involved in that move. And Munnelly put the icing on the cake. Munnelly 
wants to take them all on. He's helped from Kevin McManaman. Kevin McManaman, Dean Rock missed that. Paul Flynn didn't. Flynn is in. Scuffed it. Ross Monnelly. Peter O'Leary. Owen Lowry. Darren Strong. Strong gets his shot away. It's not accurate though. Got to get to have a go for real. Time to the Dublin backroom team and Rock has hit that beautifully. Put the ball on the blade. And the referee has called them back for the free. Dean Rock again to stretch it out to seven points. Place had been taken. Here's Dermot Connolly. 217 to 16. Is there another goal in the corner? Costello. Awkward looking challenge. A chipping practice for Rock. forward, John O'Loughlin, one for Cormac Costello. Outstanding point. Yeah, the wheels have come off the wagon completely for Leeson. Costello again, much more difficult proposition, but the result is the same. For Leash asunder, and they ain't done yet. Cormac Costello for a hat-trick of points, and that's just what he's done. Rock came on, got three. Costello's come on, he's got three other ideas eventually though the reigning Leinster and All-Ireland champions pulled away and did it with great ease and with great style Connolly's goal the key moment in the second half Michael Darrow McCauley 16 points they beat Leash and they move forward to the Leinster on the 29th of June Dublin 221 Leash 16